11, 24 through 26. 1 Corinthians 11, 24, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. 1 Corinthians 11, 25, after the same manner also he took the cup, after he had eaten supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, do this each time that ye drink, in remembrance of me. Corinthians 11 26 for each time that ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye declare the Lord's death until he comes it is not mentioned by John it was designed number one to commemorate the death of Christ this do in remembrance of me too to signify, seal, and apply to believers all the benefits of the second dispensation of the covenant of grace. In this ordinance, Christ ratifies his promise to his people, and they on their part solemnly consecrate themselves to him and to his entire service. Three, to be a pledge of the Christian profession. Four, to indicate and to promote the communion of believers with Christ. Five, to represent the mutual communion of believers with each other. The elements used to represent Christ's body and blood or bread and wine, the kind of bread, whether leaven or unleaven, is not specified. Christ used unleavened bread simply because it was at that moment on the Passover table. Wine and no other liquid is to be used. Matthew. 26 to 29. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread and blessed it. And then he took, then he broke it in pieces and handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body. 27. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. 28. Because this is my blood of the new covenant that is being poured out for many people for the forgiveness of sins. 29. I tell you, I will never again drink the product of the vine until that day when I drink it with you once again in my Father's kingdom. Believers feed on Christ's body and blood. One, not with the mouth of any manner, but two, by the soul alone and three, by faith, which is the mouth or hand of the soul. This they do. For by the power of the Holy Ghost, this feeding of Christ, however, takes place not in the Lord's Supper alone, but whenever faith in himself is exercised. This is a permanent ordinance in the Church of Christ and is to be observed till he comes again. Christ 
who will without delay fulfill the promises of the old covenant instituted institutes a new covenant with new signs Mark says had given thanks and therefore blessings is not a consecrating with a conjuncturing type of murmuring and power of words and yet the bread and the wine are changed not in nature but in quality for without doubt they become a token of the body and blood of Christ not of their own nature or force of words but by Christ his institution which must be recited and laid forth that faith may find what to lay hold on both in the word and in the elements therefore they who took away the cup from the people disobeyed the institution of Christ It is that is this cup or wine is my blood sacramentally as seen in Luke twenty two twenty or covenant that is to say by which the new league and covenant is made for in the making of leagues they use the pouring of wine and shedding of the blood Matthew 14 22 uh, 22 through 25 Luke twenty two nineteen Christ establishes his new covenant and his communication with us by new symbols Luke twenty uh, twenty two twenty here is a double use of Metami first the vessel is taken for that which is contained in the vessel as the cup is spoken of for the wine which is within the cup second the wine is called the covenant or testament whereas in reality it is but the sign of the testament or rather the blood of Christ by which the testament was made neither is it vain sign although it is not the same as the things that represent this word the the show the, the, this word uh, shows the excellency of the testament and corresponds to Jeremiah 31 31 whereas the new testament is a promise First Corinthians twenty four through twenty six. This word broken denotes to use 
to us uh, denotes to us the manner of Christ's death, although his legs were not broken as the thieves' legs were, yet his body was very severely tormented and torn and bruised. Verse 25. Verse 26. Matthew 26, 26, Christ who will without delay fulfills the promises of the old covenant, institutes the new covenant with a new sign. May, Mark says, had given thanks and therefore blessings is not a consecrating with a conjuring type of Murmuring and power of the word, yet the bread and the wine are changed, not in nature but in quality, for without doubt they become a token of the body and blood of Christ, not of their own nature or force of words, but by Christ. His inst but by Christ. His institution, which must be recited, laid forth, that faith may find what to lay hold of, both in word and in the elements. This is a figure of speech which is called a uh, me. That is to say, the giving of one name for another, so he calls the bread his body which is a sign and sacrament of his body and yet nonetheless it is a figure at the and changed kind of speech meaning that the faithful do indeed receive Christ with all his gifts though by a spiritual means become one with himself uh, one with him twenty seven therefore they who took away the cup from the people disobeyed the instructions of Christ uh, twenty eight <clears throat> this is that this cup or wine is my blood sacramentally or covenant that is to say by which the new league and covenant is made for the foreign making of leagues they use the pouring of wine and shedding of the blood and 29 is the Lord's Supper. A, the Lord's Supper is a sacrament wherein by giving and receiving bread and wine according to Christ's appointment his death is shown forth and the worthy receivers are not after a corporal and carnal manner but by faith made partakers of his body and blood with all his benefits to their spiritual nourishment and and, and growth in his grace. What is the requirement for the worthy receiving of the Lord's Supper? A. It is required of them that would worthily partake worthily 
partake of the Lord's Supper, that they...